everyone! It is garbage day! It's the day that I justify being a hoarder and saving my trash and filming a video about it. Hush. She's wild today. So, I got my handy dandy basket full of empties. Let's just get started. I didn't think I used up that much this month until I started looking in this basket and I was like, dang. I've been using up a lot. Okay, let's get big items out of the way first. The icing ear care solution. This stuff is total garbage. I got my second holes done March 28th. And for one, they don't give you enough in this bottle to get you through the six weeks for, you know, regular lobe piercings, much less you know, the 12 weeks for cartilage piercings. And, you know, by the time the 12 weeks rolled around, my ears were still, you know, getting crusty and bleeding. Like, I know that's gross, but they were still not healed. Well, I went to Walmart and got Bactine, and my ears were fine in like four days compared to six weeks of using this mess. Garbage. Garbage. Next up, I have another one of my Soft Soap Strawberry Smoother Body Butters Body Smoothing Wash. If you've seen any of my other empties videos, which I'll list my playlist down in the description box, you know that I have developed a love-hate relationship with this because, you know, I cleared the shelf when they were on clearance for $2 because I used to adore this stuff. Well, now I am sick to death of it. Like, no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. I have the last one in my shower and then never again, never again. It's great. Like, it's a great exfoliating body wash, but I can't. I have made myself physically sick over those. No, I can't. Next up, I have a Bath & Body Works Foaming Sparkling Pink Champagne. Hand soap. What, what is this, Jess? It's hand soap. <laughs> um, before I made the decision, 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 a lot of coffee today. I'm marathon filming. So that requires a lot of coffee. And I make coffee really strong. I don't know how to make like just regular strength coffee. Like. <laughs> I just have this, the touch I guess. Because it doesn't matter how much. How many coffee grounds I put into the coffee pot. It's still a strong coffee. Like can walk itself to the cup. And pour its own creamer in. So, I had a lot of coffee today because I got a lot of filming to do. That has nothing to do with hand soap. But before I decided to go cruelty free, I did discover that I much prefer the filming hand soap to the hand soap with the beads. The I only got one in here. The big cleansing. This one's the tangerine. This one clogs up this drain like clings to the side of the drain and clogs it up and you get more in this bottle and less comes out like you get a lot out in this one I like citrus scents for the kitchen and I love the sparkling pink champagne scent like that's one of my top favorites but now I'm trying the method hand soaps since they're a cruelty free option. I mean, I still love Bath and Body Works. I just. Oh, I had stuff on the outside of it. I just wish that they were cruelty free. Next up, these. FPA? FPA? Uh huh. Green tea cleansing tissues. I got these for a dollar at Big Lots, and you get 30 in there. They smell really great. They smell great. These almost smell like... I'm not picking my nose. I have an itch. 
<clears throat> that pollen came strong outside. My eyes and nose are itching really bad. <laughs> like these smell a lot like my Pond's Evening Seed Wipes. I think that's why I liked them so much. But they were really not the best at taking off makeup. They were great like to take off swatches on my hands and stuff and you know to clean up my face from fallout. When Okay. We're trying to make one more real day plans. So you may hear my phone blowing up in the background. I'm sorry. I could turn it on silent. It's more than just a hat rack, Jess. You should remember that. But these were great at taking off swatches. And they were great for cleaning up fallout from my eye makeup before I did foundation. You know, if I ran out of baby wipes or something. But... I wouldn't get these again to take off makeup at night. They were not that great. Okay, next up. Let me tell you what this is before I start ranting. The Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. For one, the top don't stay on. <laughs> I'm so sorry coffee the coffee like every day when I would finish off my makeup or open my makeup drawer and see this cap floating around in my makeup basket I, it would just piss me off like really this sucker's damn $23 you can't make the cap to f fit without me really no plus this really didn't do this no this did not do Jack Diddley no, don't buy it. It's not worth it. Okay, this is in my project pan. It's my Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel that I was using as a primer. I know Amber F. loves this. Girl, I know. I'm sorry. It just it doesn't work for me. Not for my face. Now, you know, for my chub rub. When I'm wearing dresses or skirts or even shorts, yeah, it's great for that. It just it doesn't work as a primer. Let's see what else do I got. It. Oh, I got this Hask Argan Oil from Morocco Intense Deep Conditioning Hair Treatment. This was nice. Um, oh, it's supposed to strengthen, restore, and smooth dry, damaged hair. Yeah, I mean, my hair definitely felt better after I used it. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but I also desperately need my split ends cut off. <sighs> so, unless it's just like a miracle cream in a packet, it's not just going to completely transform my hair. But it was nice. I mean, I would definitely buy this again. I got this one at Walmart, but you can also get them at Ulta. And then I saw in the ad preview for next week that they have them at Walgreens, too. So, I mean, yeah, I'll buy them again. I'm curious to try other ones. They have the, they have a macadamia oil one. So, I'm curious to see how it, or if anybody knows if it's similar to the, you know, like the $30 deep repair mask macadamia one. You know what I'm talking about. I've never tried it, but you know. <laughs> okay, next up, I have some up and up cotton balls. I mean, they were cotton balls. I mean, they were fine. I had to have them to clean my ears. Like, you know, my piercings. I mean, they were fine. They were cheap. Plus, I had a cartwheel. <sighs> Use the cartwheel app at Target, people. Hey, did you want some cotton balls? She literally looks hot about that. Okay, next up is the Suave 24-Hour Protection Almond Verbena Invisible Solid Antiperspirant Deodorant. I really like the smell of this one. Like, Almond Verbena, like, I can't describe it, but it smells like something else that I've used before. And I cannot for the life of me think of what it is. What have I used that smells like that? I'll use something. I like the smell of it. So I was, I mean, it's decent for an antiperspirant. Once I use up the antiperspirants that I have now, I'm wanting to go 
I wanted to use start using a deodorant that doesn't have aluminum in it which is going to be a transition but I mean it's decent suave is not the best out there but I think Publix paid me to take these now this one and another one ma'am could you stop Psst. gosh struggle yeah Publix paid me to take this and another one so I mean they're good they do the job but like on a real hot day like when it gets to be 100 degrees here it's not gonna hold up but other than that is this bothering anybody else or bothering me Okay. Next up is this Clean and Clear Finishes Mattifying Cleanser. Super absorbing mineral plus complex. Control shine all day while removing impurities for a naturally beautiful finish. I got this from Big Lots. Like, I have never seen this in like a regular store. Ma'am. Ma'am. If you insist on that, go elsewhere. You heard me. Like, I haven't seen this in like a Walgreens, an Ulta, Target, anything like that. I didn't like it. I feel like a lot of these, you know, mattifying products and oil controlling products make my skin more oily. And this kind of burned. Not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> no, it, it burned. I don't think I, I think I still had some left in here, but I was just over it. No. I would not repurchase that. Next up is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for Normal to Combo Skin. I thought that this would be nice. It was, you know, like a jelly texture. No. Like, I'd use this at night and wake up in the morning and my face would be so slick and so shiny. No. I would not repurchase that. Next up is my Spring Valley by 10 10,000 micrograms plus keratin. I get this at Walmart. Yes, I've already repurchased this. I know some people say, you know, biotin really doesn't do anything. No, this does. I've tried a lot of different biotins and I really didn't see a difference. I don't know if it was just this brand. The fact that it was the 10,000 micrograms, you know, it has the keratin in it too. I don't know what, but I've seen a big difference in this like once I hit my 20s my I've started losing a lot of hair I mean I'm not I don't have like bald patches or anything but like especially up here like in this front area I started losing a lot of hair like I would clog the drain at least once a week in the shower but since I started using this like, my nails are getting ridiculously long. My, I'm seeing, like, so many little baby hairs all around my face and the top of my head, which is hair regrowth. My eyelashes are getting longer. My eyebrows are getting, you know, thicker. You know, I have unruly eyebrows, but, I mean, you know, I know people that, you know, lose their eyebrow hair, so... This may be an option for you. Like, I've seen a big difference since I've started using these. So, yes, I've already repurchased. What else? Oh, this Pop Beauty Pouty Pop Crayon in Coral Crush. I got this in Ipsy like two years ago. And I was mad because it came all smushed and broken. But it's a horrible color. It's like a... A neon milky coral color like it's a very orange coral it's not like a pinky coral and it's very neon like this is straight up like 60s 70s status and I'm just I'm not gonna use it it smells nice and minty and I mean it feels great on the lips it's just it's not a good color for me at all so I finally just tossed it. Like, I'm not going to use it. Spoiler alert for my next project pan. I finally finished up my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in Noir. Like, 
have that left, but it scratches my eyes. So I finished this up today. <sighs> I mean, these are decent in the waterline and stuff, but I'm not going to repurchase. And I know there's so many other eyeliners out there that there's got to be something better at the drugstore than that. Because they, I mean, they were decent, but they were not the best. And they really dry, like, trying to put it, you know, on your lash line and stuff, they're really dry. So they didn't really look that great. They're just, they're a mess. Next is this little deluxe sample of the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. You know, this is a little stick primer, glue stick thing. You, just, you know, rub it on your face and then put your foundation on. No. No, ma'am. I know this is one of those things that you either love it or you hate it. Well, um, I hate it. Uh, it's a weird concept to me. Yeah, primer in a stick. Rubbing it on my face. And it doesn't really keep my makeup in place. You know, they when it first came out, everybody was saying, oh, you know, it's like a glue stick. It just, you know, keeps your foundation just stuck to your face and it lasts all day. No. No, it doesn't. And one of my best friends, Ashley, told me in the comments on the video that I hauled this that it broke her makeup down really bad. Yes, Ashley, I see that. Like, I feel like I got even more oily with this and like, my makeup slid around more when I had this on. So no. Just no. Okay, next up, I got this little sample thing. I actually demoed this in my May 2nd vlog, like at the end of the night. I was chit-chatting while I was taking off my makeup and I actually demoed this. It's the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. This actually did a good job of taking off my makeup. Like, simple. I wish you were cruelty free. Because, I mean, it did a decent job. I didn't use it on my eyes. So I can't say how it does around the eye area. But, I mean, it took off my eyebrows. It took off all the makeup on my forehead. And, I mean, I, I pack on the powder on my forehead. I mean, it did a good job. I'm so mad about this empty. This is my Clinique Shimmering Shops Powder Blusher in Tuxedo Plums. This was in my finish 4 by the 4th and if you saw my most recent update for that, you'll know that, you know, I had crumblies that had broken off over here so I was, you know, leaning over the garbage can to blow them into the garbage and not make a mess everywhere. And the whole blush just, whoop! into the garbage can. I was very upset. I just, I can't even talk about it anymore. Next up, I've got these two under eye roller balls. These don't do anything. This, and I tried really hard to use this one up. This Yes to Blueberries Brightening Eye Roller. No. Like, I mean, it, I could feel it making my eye, like it made the skin under my eye feel tighter, like it was kind of hard to blink my eyes, but I really didn't see any kind of difference. And then this e.l.f. eye refresh, I just got in a kit, and it's expired. Hush. So, I mean, if you have a recommendation for under eye puffiness. Like, I don't have dark circles. My eyes are just kind of puffy when I wake up in the morning. Let me know. I'm right. Next up, I have this Chic Hydro Razor. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't plan on repurchasing. I mean, it's, it's good. I think it has five blades on it, so that's nice. This was a Project Pan Empty. This is the Escada Joyful Perfume Sample. This is a really nice, almost fruity kind of scent, but it's not something I would 
I would buy for myself. I mean, it was nice while I had it, but I wouldn't purchase it. Oh, I got another razor, and I already used the, okay, so I used up the cartridge, and I used up the razor. The Venus Breeze razor, and it's got like the, the little moisturizing thing. Like, you're not supposed to have to use shaving cream with this. It's kind of like the Chic Intuition. No. Like, I still felt like I needed shaving cream. And it only has three blades, which I got some pretty coarse leg hair. Like, I'm a furry beast. So, you know, I feel like this got dull after two or three shaves. So, no, I wouldn't repurchase. That's why I'm just tossing the whole thing. I mean, maybe if you were, like, you know, just going out of town for a few days, something like this would be nice because then you wouldn't have to take a separate shave cream. Monroe, I'm going to lock you out of here if you don't chill out. But, no, not my favorite. Next up, I have my Aqualina Pink Sugar Sample, and y'all have already seen this a bunch. You know I love this stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure it was in my April Top 5 last month, so obviously I love that stuff. And then I have the Clean Warm Cotton Perfume Sample. No, that is awful. It smells like laundry. I don't want to smell like laundry. Got the Bath and Body Works S'mores Pocket Back. I love the way these smell. I've got like five more of these, so I don't need, I have no need to buy antibacterial stuff for a while. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. Monroe, that's enough. Really, that's enough. No, I don't like this. It oxidizes really bad. It feels like straight up grease on your face. No, no, no. My Clinique Long Last Glossware in Stellar Plum. These are just so ridiculously sticky. No, mm -mm. no, no, no. And last but not least, my Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I scraped about as much as I could out of this sucker. <laughs> I absolutely love this stuff. I've got another tub of it. This is what Kenny's Mimi always gets me for Christmas. But Mimi, I don't know what you're going to get me for Christmas this year because Glam Glow is not cruelty free. <laughs> I'll still use up the other tub that I have and I still adore this, but... Mimi, I don't know what you're going to get me for Christmas this year. This is always your go-to. I'm sorry. But anyways, that is it. Well, you're empty. That was a lot of stuff. Like I said, I didn't think I used up that much this month, but apparently I did. So, if you've done an empties for May, let me know down in the comments. Let me come see your trash that you've hoarded so we can all justify to each other saving all of our trash. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. As always, subscribe. I'd love to have you. I do not always have whiny little pups in the background. I don't know. I don't know what her problem is today. I just don't know. Anyways, until next time.